Right, so here we have the new microphone. There you go. The model is an ECM-PC60. Don't know what that means, but it sounds technical. Right, so let's open it and see what we've got in the box. We've got a little clip, so if you want to put it on your clothing and use it that way as a lapel mic, you can do that. You've got an extension cable. If the cable's not long enough, you can use it to extend the cable. Hence, it's called an extension cable. The main mic itself is this one. It comes with a tiny little stand, so if you know someone that's really, really small and likes to do karaoke, it's good for them. Right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to strip the interior. I'm going to take it all to bits, take all the bits out that I'm going to wash, show you how I wash them. And once I've washed the interior and it's drying, I will show you how the microphone is mounted. And I'll show you the inside of the crash helmet without all the comfort bits in, show you what the shell looks like from the inside. Right, so let's crack on with dismantling the interior of this crash helmet. Before I do that, I will take the GoPro off. So it's just a case of unplugging the mic and unwrapping this tether. That one's off. That's the mount. So I put this Velcro on the side there just to keep this bit in place and protect it a little bit from the weather. Stops it flapping around in the wind. So that bit comes off, which is the adapter to the GoPro. I shall leave that under there for now. Start with a cheek pad this side, which is just simply pull that out and unhook. Do the same with this one. And they're just on poppers. So you just got poppers and most interiors of crash helmets are built pretty much in similar fashion. Pull that out so the back bit comes out and then this bit is tucked in here. Just give it a little bit of a pull. Don't be afraid. That bit comes out. And do you know the scary thing about this? Look at all the dead bugs in there. You've also got the Cena here. And that, if you can see that, let's get that out of the way. The headphones are there and they're Velcroed into each side. So they're the little speakers that go in your ears. So I'll leave those in place for this because they're going to stay where they are. But I should take the microphone out. So that's the microphone I'm using at the moment and I'm going to replace that with the other microphone. But before I get around to fitting the new microphone, I'm going to give these a little bit of a clean up, a wash, take them upstairs, put them in the sink and I'm going to use some shampoo to clean these, which I've always done. Anyway, it is a bit minging. I shouldn't be showing you this because it's quite embarrassing, but it is minging. That's a whole year's worth of shite on my head. Right, so now let's get on to washing the interior of the crash helmet. I have the skull cap and the two cheek pads of the helmet. What I use is uh, everyday shampoo, basically whatever I can get my hands on. Those of you that know me, follow me on Instagram and uh, YouTube will know that I don't have any hair at the moment. I've clipped it off, shaved it off. So therefore, that is not my shampoo. So the advantage of having two daughters and a wife is there's plenty of shampoo about. So I'm gonna use that. I always use cold water. So all you need is water, sink, and basically some shampoo. This is what I use. If you wanna leave your comments in the comments section of what you use and how you do it, feel free. I shall start with a cheek pad. And let's hope it's not too dirty because that'd be embarrassing if it comes out completely black. You can be quite vigorous. You can already see dirt coming out. So I will do this a few times. And the beauty of using shampoo, especially this one, is it smells quite nice. So there you go, that's one. And then what I'll do is I'll squeeze out the excess water. And then I shall repeat with the other cheek pad and the skull cap. All washed, 
now ready to dry. When you do dry these, don't put them on radiators, don't put them on artificial heat, let them dry naturally. So it depends on where you are in the world, how warm it is, how long this takes to dry. Uh, I will stick this indoors, it'll probably take at least a couple of days. If you are in a nice climate where you can stick it outside and it's not raining, it'll take less time. But try and keep it out of as much direct sunlight as you can, because although you want it to dry naturally, you don't want the heat of the sun to basically uh, start damaging the interior. Right, so while that's drying, I'll quickly run through how I route the microphone through the crash helmet, how I get it from the GoPro to where I need the microphone in here. And I run it all the way through the crash helmet. And the simple reason for that is it's nothing technical. It's just the wire is quite long. The microphone comes out of this hole here and runs through where I've got it Velcroed here and will run into this cheek pad here. It will run all the way around and the microphone will actually sit on this side. If you notice in here, I've got a little bit of tack. That's this stuff here I use, which is blue tack. And that's just to hold it in place. In general, the cheek pad will hold it in place and the skull cap and everything will cover all these wires. They will look untidy when I do it at first. There are some things that you need to try and avoid. These popper holes here where the cheek pads just pop in. Try and avoid those because you don't want the wire getting snagged in those. And also I like to run the wire across the top of the straps rather than underneath. So again, when it's moved about, it just runs over the top so it doesn't get snagged on those. Just my preference, not a rule. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the microphone inside. Now you've got choices with these. I'm gonna use one of the old ones. You can put that on just to use a little bit of extra wind protection and stick it in the cheek pad, which is what I'm gonna do first of all, see how that works. But if I'm not happy with that, I'm gonna put it on the outside of the cheek pad so it sticks more on the chin bar right in front of my mouth. And if I do that, then I use a dead cat, one of these, which is a bit more furry and has great wind stopping capabilities. The only problem with this is it tickles your face, so be a little bit careful with that. You might have to trim that down. Right, so I'm not gonna put the little wind stopper off for now, because I'm gonna refit this later when I do the actual cheek pads. But I wanna stick the microphone to that bit of tack. So there you go. That is the microphone, if you can see it, in place, just here. So now I have to run it around the helmet. So let's pull the straps out of the way and run it over the strap. And I'm just gonna place my thumb. So what you don't wanna do is pull it tight across the crash helmet. You wanna keep your thumb on it so you've got enough slack. There's a little bit of tack in there for the Cena, so I'm gonna just stick it to that. Run it round. I'm actually going to use a bit of tack on the other side as well. Let's tack that bit in. This is rough, by the way. I will redo this properly when I fit the cheek pads. So I'm giving you a rough idea. Right, now that goes there. So I'm going to tack that bit in as well. So there you go, general idea. Microphone running across the top. Avoiding the poppers, I'm going to run it under the little earphone there, into that bit of blue tack. Runs round the back, into that bit of tack, runs over the top of that popper, and there. So that then comes out of this side, because I want the adapter, which is this bit, to sit in there. This is where you notice the extra play. So you've got to do something with this. This is where the cheek pad comes in handy. When the cheek pad is in place, I will curl this up and just stick it all in there. So it will all sit in there and then this little bit will run under there. We'll come out of here and we'll sit in there. I can tuck it away if I don't want to use it. This is a, an official GoPro adapter. I then connect that. And when I'm in use, that keeps it all in place, stops it from flapping, and then simply connect it like so. And that's the bare bones of how I fit a microphone. Right, so that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Appreciate having you here. I hope you learned a little bit there. If you are new to motor vlogging, that is uh, how I 
personally run my microphone through my crash helmet. Other videos will show you different and maybe do it different. So check them all out and find a way that suits you. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it.